So after my two videos yesterday, I'd like to bring you my first impressions of Titanfall today. Uh, having experienced the game at Eurogamer now for around two and a half hours and at the EA event for around three hours, I think I've got a good general idea of how this game plays out at the moment, at least in the beta stage, and that's what we have to remember here. The footage that you're watching is from is what is going to be the closed beta. So we can only really take it being on how it actually is right now. There are some things that are probably most likely going to change for the final release of Titanfall. And when that comes around, I will obviously give you my opinions there as well. But for today, we'll focus on the experiences that I've had so far. Just before we begin, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Calvin Robinson from Bros with Froze, the YouTube channel, for lending me some exclusive gameplay uh, for the second half of this video. He's a really good Titanfall player, and he has an amazing haircut. So there's a link in the description. Go across to his channel. He's got some exclusive Titanfall gameplay up there as well. Make sure you check those videos out and subscribe to him for that awesome haircut. Now firstly, it's immediately noticeable that the Call of Duty developers have brought forward the fast-paced action arena-style shooter that they made for Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare game. Titanfall is a very fast first-person shooter, at least in the pilot mode. When it comes to Titan mode, or when you're in your Titan, obviously you're moving around a lot slower, you have more time to react to things that are shooting you because you can take more damage, and therefore it slows the gameplay down. But of course, the first time that you load into the game, you're going to be playing as the pilot in the training mode, and you're going to notice just how quick you can move around, how quick you can react to things. And that sort of follows on to sort of the weapon structure as well. You will notice that the weapons don't have a lot of recoil, there's not a lot of spread on the bullets, and that suits the fast-paced nature of the game mode, and I think that's a really good decision. Say, for example, if you started running around with heavy shotguns and machine guns that had massive bullet spread and had recoil going all over the place, it would make a very jarring experience in Titanfall, just the same way that if you bought the Battlefield guns into Call of Duty, that wouldn't work, or if you put the Call of Duty guns into Battlefield 4, that wouldn't work either. So you have to think of it that way, that this obviously is a brand new IP, and the way that the weapons work do fit the gameplay style very well. Now, so far, I've played three game modes in Titanfall, Attrition, Hardpoint, and Last Titan Standing. Attrition is basically Team Deathmatch, and Hardpoint is basically Domination, so wherever you're coming from, you're going to feel familiar in playing some of these game modes. Now, the only stark difference in these game modes in comparison to other first-person shooters is that you can call in your massive mech robot Titan halfway through the game and start to wreak havoc on the enemies that don't have one yet, or absolutely pummel into the other Titans that are already there on the map. I think it changes pace really well, and a lot of people thought that the Titans would be completely overpowered. In comparison to the pilots that are on the ground, it's going to take one shot, as I said, already to kill somebody. But the change of pace is really welcome. You no longer continuously have to go through that monotonous, fast-paced shooter all the time, or as with Battlefield, you don't have to continue on the same pace all the time. There is a change, there is a difference, and that's really welcome, and it keeps things fresh. The third game mode, Last Titan Standing, is absolutely amazing. I've said this before in my video that was specifically based on it, that it's a really exhilarating game mode and it really gets your adrenaline pumping. It's basically 6v6 Titans in a 7 round match where you just have to eliminate the other team. But of course, you don't just have to shoot them, you can run up, melee attack them, you can punch them. And it's really just sort of very bare bones, very, very simple game mode and it brings in a lot of fun to it and it can be an absolute blast if you're playing with your friends. Some of the things that I didn't really pick up on when I was playing this game on PC is that there is a sort of a free-running aspect to the pilot mode of this game. If you're a foot soldier, you're obviously the pilot. You can use your jumpsuit to sort of run along walls and things like that. I tend to find that a lot of us that were playing it didn't really use the feature as much as we probably should have. A lot of us got caught on the ground, a lot of us got caught in similar situations to what you'd find in other first person shooters. So the fact that there's a training mode that you have to complete before you can go into the multiplayer is a really good thing because it actually shows you how to use all the wall climbing things, how to use the double jumps, how to sort of pull yourself up over objects. It's a really good thing that has been implemented to show you just what you can do with the pilot. Because, as I said, I didn't tend to use it very much, but the fact that there's something in there telling you how to use it will eventually get through to a lot of people, and you will see it used more and more. 
One thing that I really enjoyed and that actually made a lot of sense is the epilogue feature, which is something that after the game's finished, you get a message saying you've either won or you've lost the game, but you have 30 seconds to get back to your home ship if you're one of the attackers that's coming in to fight the other team that's on the ground. You have 30 seconds to get back to your home ship and get back to the extraction point, and you can gain some extra XP if you manage to do that. You can kill other people along the way, that's fine. If you get shot along the way, then you obviously die and you go into third person spectator mode and you watch all of your other friends try and get away. It's a really cool experience because it gives you a chance to get a little bit more XP than what you had before. And again, it gives you such a rush feeling. It's like managing to actually escape a battle. Especially when there's titans and massive mech robots and pilots firing shotguns all going off around you. It's a really cool experience. It's something that I feel should be included in a lot of other games. It's really something that I didn't think would be as prevalent as it actually is. But it really does make a big difference to the gameplay. Something that I haven't really touched on yet in any of the videos that I've made for Titanfall is the graphical aspect of the game. It's something that I didn't want to mention too early on in this video because I didn't want the people to get the idea that all I cared about was the graphics, which I don't because obviously I'm looking at this as an alternative first person shooter to Battlefield and Call of Duty and it's obviously doing very well so far, but the graphical aspect of this game, it's stunning. On PC in 1080p at 60fps we were playing on 780ti's. This thing ran beautifully. It ran at 60 FPS pretty much all the time. There were a couple of frame drops, I have to admit, but I have a feeling that that's because it's in beta. They're going to probably be kinked out by the time this game actually releases. But in terms of the graphical aspect, it looks absolutely beautiful. It runs on the Source engine, so in terms of actual netcode and gameplay, it's very fluid. A lot of people thought that this would be a hitscan game. Now, in terms of the Titans when you play them, the bullet velocity of some of the projectiles that you fire is much slower than what you'd find on the pilot weapon. So in terms of that, it actually takes time for some of those rockets and some of those bullets to hit the things that you're shooting at. Now, I didn't test it too much with the pilots, but I have a feeling that it's going to run on the same system, and that means it requires a little bit more skill to shoot people at long range because there is a travel time to the projectiles that you're actually shooting at the enemy with. And I think that actually adds to the gameplay, makes it even more fun, especially if there's wall climbing, double jumping going on everywhere. It can actually be quite hard to hit your target, and you can outmaneuver somebody very easily and get the drop on them. But going back to the graphics, we played on two maps, Angel City and Fracture, two of the maps that have been sort of featured before, and I believe those are the two maps that are going to be included in the closed beta. They both looked absolutely brilliant on PC, as I said they ran flawlessly and minus a couple of FPS drops. But anybody that's played Call of Duty, this is a flat upgrade, it looks so much better. And for guys that have played Battlefield, well... On PC, Battlefield does look absolutely amazing, but I have to say, for an arcade, sort of arena-style first-person shooter, this thing is really looking good. It's not quite on par as what a lot of people have been comparing it with, Crisis 3, but it's still a really, really nice-looking game by Respawn. So, to sum up everything in this video, I'm really impressed with what Respawn have done with Titanfall, bringing a brand new FPS shooter into a genre that is getting increasingly stale. I have to say that the game looks really bright in its future, and I'm really looking forward to playing it when it comes out on March the 11th. But anyway, thanks for watching this video guys, if you did enjoy it please do drop a like down below, and make sure you leave your comments too about what you think about Titanfall, but until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.